the top stories. Seventh session of Manipur Assembly begins with Governor's Address. High School Living Certificate Examination begins. 37,323 students appear. Desam alleges mass copy at Thanga High School. And Myanmar National Health with Brown Sugar Worth Rupees 3.63 Crore. Good evening and welcome to Times of Manipur. This is Suraj Khongbantabam giving you the news now, the news in detail. This seventh session of the 11th Manipur Assembly has begun today with the Governor's address in the House. The session continues till 8 of March and will have altogether 13 sittings. Governor Dr. Nazma Haptula's address to the House contains a review of the activities and achievements of the BJP-led coalition government. The governor in her address noted that if a government wants to initiate steps to ensure welfare to the people, all the problems facing them need to be understood at the grassroots level. Towards this end, Dr. Nazma stated, my government has launched go-to-village program on a mission mode. She asserted that her government is committed to deliver to the people an expeditious and responsible government. However, the governor expressed serious concern over the delay in completion of BJP projects in the state which entails additional higher costs due to the missed incompletion deadline. Dr. Nazma also informed in her address that a state-level empowered committee has been set up to help solve such problems. She also informed that the state government has set up an investment felicitation center to ensure a single window project clearance in order to promote investment in the state. On the law and order and justice system, the governor stated that the government is committed to protection of human rights and prevention of excesses by the security forces. This state human rights commission, which was in a defunct state for almost nine years, has been revived by the government and is now functioning, said Dr. Nazma. She said every district of the state has a women police station where registration of reports on crimes against women and child has started. The governor's address further delivered details on the finance and planning, tribal affairs, minority and serial caste, other backward classes, OBC, food security, education, power sector, agriculture, allied activities and natural resources, PC culture, veterinary and animal husbandry, water resources and management, water supply, healthcare, connectivity, urban planning and development, rural development, social welfare, labor welfare and employment generation, textiles, commerce and industry, tourism, information technology and science and technology, sports and art and culture. The High School Living Certificate Examination 2019 conducted by Board of Secondary Education Manipur BOSEM has begun today. Altogether, 37,323 students are appearing in the examination at 139 centers across the state. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Desam claimed that its volunteers detected mass copy by students during the HSLC examination today at Thanga High School. Invigilators and flying squads of BOSEM should be watchful of cheating by students, which is wrong and unpractical at all exam centers. Desam General Secretary Sital Oinam told a press meet at the Alliance office Sagolban. A team of Desam volunteer was inspecting examination centers to ensure smooth conduct of the examination when the team found students copying at Thanga High School. Sital appealed to Bosem to take appropriate action against the alleged earring officials and invigilators of the school. Exam center is the same as the site of 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 the the site of the site of the site of the site of the the of the site 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 Lakibo was our home, was our home, the flying squad team, Mamlaki. Lakiba flying squad team, Masisu, Nasagi Toribomoma, Toxida, Angan Kreda, Matara, Lepalam, Banatana, 
kasi tu dok pak action lorong tu na kan giba masih jam lebok tiba ni na jadi sama masai jita mengai tu dok punuk seri. A combined team of women police of Mori police and 43 Assam rifles seized 1 kg and 817 gram of brown sugar from a Myanmarese near Mori Wat No. 4 Sunrise Ground. The person has been identified as Them Nailam Haukip Nailam, 35, son of Ngamsei Haukip from Namphalong Wat No. 12. The seized contraband item is said to be worth Rs 3.63 crore in black market. The protesting joint SSA and Ramsar Teachers Association today met State Education Minister T. H. Radhesyam to bring an end to the impasse. However, the meeting failed to bring any amicable solution, prompting the association to continue their protest. They staged a sit-in protest in front of JEO Zone 1 office complex at Kweathong following a meeting. The association has launched a protest over various demands from 4th of this month. Maru ina hujik ten, twelve, kau eleven hari, bahasa aku SSC, RMS lagi, am tak yau jadi, yau dah bermaram se, aku yam nungai jadi. As a teacher, aku se, aku duty se, am na responsible, ina aku se loser iba, ozanga tani ko, adu na aku se, se aku yau dah bahasa yam nungai te, adu lagi angang sing dosa, aku nungwish yam pinengi, phone siam tori, aku nungwish yam pizza nengi ko, cak laga aku yau jadi nengi, adu bo, aku ki kongjeng se cang salu bani na, aku se haji handok pagi pibam se ya dah pagi maram oidu na, aku hoji se education se cak hari bini sahaja sing dosu, we give all our wishes ko, our heartfelt wishes, adu aku ina se ki condition se ya dah bida makta cang sen bani se hai jeni. Well, it's time now for a short break. Ray Oil agar wood amati tang nafang mamacal kaya na semba adukum laba iramdam asida putok sa Rehal Perfume Aryan Store, Dove, Lico Store, ZJ Sun amati ning thousand enterprises ta fang biragani ay koi gi head office hatami nutong near Symmetry Road Pantoy bi embroidery da hauzi hauzik miyam na yam na pam na riba top, blouse, fanek, sengaw Porlo ay madi kangkal na jingba luhong ba dachang ba kuding mag amadi nupi ay bisingi agi mo gi polam kuding mag ahong ba mamal da fang biragani loy na na order su luxury lengsin birao ng asimag panthoy bi embroidery sa Golban Kamnam Bazar opposite Oriental College Imphal contact number seven double zero five four zero double two six seven Furniture industry da chahi tara munga hen experience le raba Movel Furniture ngasi Manipur da chahi mari mapung fana retail stores ani na miyam gi seba pijeri Miyam service vertical sink asi gi khudong cha lobi ngasi Lengsin Biroxi Movel Furniture Kwa Petel near Imphal Falls The Great Wedding Sale by Movel Furniture Welcome back after the break. The All India BSNL services total shutdown call given by BSNL employees since 18th of February came to an end today. However, the Employees Association AUAB may continue the total shutdown in future anytime after having a discussion with its central headquarter members who are in New Delhi. Since their demands were not fulfilled during the earlier hesitation, Talking to Tom TV News today at Telephone Bhavan Babupara Imphal, BSNL Notice Circle Secretary KSH Saheb Singh said that the authorities concerned both at the centre and the state have neglected their demands for pay revision of its employees. Allotment of 4G spectrum to BSNL unlike the private operators. The association further appealed to its subscribers to bear with the interruptive services due to its three days national shutdown. Kau yang tunggu jadi jadi spektrum pilihan kerja. Kau yang private operator jangan kempit tunggu tak. Kau itu 
Mangin Tana, Sian Mangam Nanabi, Demani Kono Tamjurisi. And the private operator than a Matam Matangi, an over technology, Matam Sana Sana, along the Piraga, BSN Gomengi, Enterprise or BSN Dana, Sig along the Piu at the Bessie, Masi, a quite a quite as over like Tivani and Konoji, Varamaduna, the Sister Jariba, the Milhum Digi Sagasi, the Matunda, Sia Kuki, Liberia Boko Shetan had Kotaki, Little Sinjana, Makata meeting Amos at Taraga, Makata Excel Lakani, the Sig is not over, but we give away Havam Kurzi Tamjaraga. State Platform for Disabled People's Organization, SPDPO Manipur, has drawn the attention of the state government to look into the problems faced by the differently able persons of the state. Addressing media persons at Manipur Press Club in fall today, SPDPO President Mohammad Yunus Khan said that the association has been working for the welfare of the differently able person in the state by submitting a series of memorandums to the Chief Minister and the Social Welfare Minister, urging them to provide a separate directorate for the differently able persons, skill development training centers and easy loan facilities. He further alleged that the present government has not given any benefits to the SPDPO members despite government's claim. How do you think that the government has not given any benefits to the SPDPO members despite government's claim? How do you think that the government has not given any benefits to the SPDPO members despite government's claim? How do you think that the government has not given any benefits to the SPDPO members despite government's claim? How do you think housing scheme ji jum le jetra jum sabangam dra kambu gi damak tani adu housing scheme ji phau re khala che magi paisa ka na bi damak ta foundation hau na ba macha na paisa putho ga foundation hau hai re paisa le jeda ba gi damak ta jum sa ge hai bani paisa le ra ga de moida ka ba housing scheme pbi hai ga ta ge si ni adu housing scheme ji phang ge ani foundation ha na hau ro adu matu na paisa ka ke re karam ban yo nu lai ra ba duni lai ra mi da pi hai bani lai ra da pi ro ina kum da pi ge hai bani ba hai ra gi scheme ase a scheme ati Tautori betul juga tayo nara high risk kerja mieng cang biraga niom cum na tau biraga disable cing dasu kudong cang je PBU high wafam macam ni cang jadi. Directorate of Research Central Agricultural University Imphal organised a one-day fair under the theme Technology and Machinery Demonstration on India Coordinated Research on Post-Harvest Engineering and Technology at the Department of Agricultural Un Engineer CAU today. The event was attended by Vice Chancellor of Cow Professor M. Premjit, Director of Research Cow Professor C. A. Srinivas Murthy, and Cow Dean Professor Y. Jakendra as the main guest. Addressing the gathering, Professor M. Premjit emphasized on the need to use trained skills and ideas by everyone. He encouraged the unemployed youth to take up farming to help increase productivity of the state. <laughs> Isa sina mo ato pada tabak piba. Nasa yagi, job seeker ki mahotta, job creator, job provider. On thok pa nata na ay koi karishu upay laite. Masi on thok na bagi tamakta, ay koi na sanction gadari ba revolution di kaisu nati. Nasa yagi, ay koi motivating, ay di adung ba naha unemployed juta motivate tau ba, adung attract tau ba, in agriculture, motivating and attracting youth in agriculture. Hai, Maya. Traditional agriculture that we attract to what? Lugani. Madam, the traditional agriculture, she did the number. She was the Poudang Taba, Hangam the Maru Taba, Hawaii Taba, she did the other game that we attract to we are right. I call youth book, unemployed youth book, attract to we are ready. Now she did the Tauri Banga Sagi, she did the Moina, okay, she did. कोई कॉलेज दे तोड़ी बा इंजीनियरिंग पोस्ट सर्विस टेक्नोलॉजी दे तोड़ी बा शिदा ही दा कोई एट्रैक्ट हो गया नहीं पोस्ट सर्विस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड द बेलु इडिशन शिदा कोई एट्रैक्ट हो गया नहीं Different kinds of modern technology and machines used in farming and cultivation were also displayed during the fair. A team of Imphal West Commando Bazaar Unit under the supervision of additional SP operations of Imphal West District Police, T.H. Krishna Tombi conducted cordon and search operations this morning at Mezorkul MG Avenue and Kalibari under City Police Station. The operations continued till 8.30 a.m. A total of 327 persons were verified and 14 people who could not show their proper documentations were detained and later handed over to the city police for further verification. 
A team of Assam Rifles arrested one cadre of NSCNK along with weapons at Montown in Nagalin. The apprehended cadre has been identified as Peter Konyak is a 34 son of Nalem Konyak from Montown. 1.22 pistol and two live rounds were recovered from him, according to reports. Let's take a short break once again. Lamzingba Group na Manipur Lairiba Assembly Constituency Humphu Degi Mathau Da Pukning Changba Public Relationship Executive Post ki miyoi amamam lagzaga dori mahi gi thak yam drabada graduation oi gida bani akupa marol gi dama contact to biru at 13194406 amukasu at 13194406 ai khoi gi address Lamzingba Group Rims Road Imphal phone number at 13194406 Musicians, singers, dancers, rappers, actors, comedians, any talent. The stage is waiting for you to showcase your hidden talent all over India through Mega Talent Show on Lamzingba Times of Manipur Private Satellite Television Channel, which is available at Tata Sky. Prizes, winner rupees 1 lakh. First runners up, rupees 80,000. Second runners up, rupees 50,000. Seven consolation prizes. Audition on 30th, 31st March, 1st and 2nd April 2019. Last date of enrollment 15 March 2019. Forms available at Tom Office, Uripok and the college near you. Call 940-299-1938. Manipur ki ahanba 24 into 7 cap service oriba lamzingba cap service na miyam gi seba da laizari. Apamba service khan biyu, economy rate rupees 15 per kilometer, standard rate rupees 25 per kilometer, luxury rate rupees 55 per kilometer. Manipur ki district singi maruwai na mau, senapati, ukrul, Manipur ki mapal ki lamzing loina na luhong ba madhi atai thaudok singi damakta akhan abad discount pizari. He na kupa marol gi dama contact to biru 1800. 1027959 amadi 87946131544 ekhoi ki website www.lamzingbacap.com Welcome back. The 12th edition of Asia's premier air show Aero India 2019 began at Yelanka Air Force Station in Bangalore today with 61 metal birds including HAL's indigenous products light combat aircraft Tejas all set to roar in the city skies. The five day long biennial event which will showcase India's air defense prowess will also act as a platform for aviation companies. The defense sector and government to force new alliances and contracts. However, the death of a pilot from Indian Air Force's aerobatic team Surya Kiran during a rehearsal on Tuesday has cast its shadow on the show. Besides the Tezas, the HTT-40 basic training aircraft, first indigenously upgraded Hawk MK-132 named as Hawk-I, Civil DO-228 Advanced Light Helicopter Rudra, Light Utility Helicopter LUH, Light Combat Helicopter LCH all fly in the air for the show. A mile 4.0 magnitude earthquake struck western Uttar Pradesh, Bakpat today morning. The quake epicenter in Bakpat in north of Delhi occurred at 7.59 am. Tremors were felt in the neighboring region including the national capital. No loss of life or damage to property has been reported. A week after Pulwama Teller attack, thousands of Kashmiri youth swarmed the army recruitment rally in Baramula district of Jammu and Kashmir to apply for 111 different posts. At least 2,500 young men in the state on Tuesday took part in the army recruitment rally held in Gantamula area in the district. 
U.S. President Donald Trump yesterday described the Pulwama terrorist attack in Jammu and Kashmir by the JSE Mohammed group as a horrible situation in which 40 Indian paramilitary personnel were killed and said he was getting reports on it and would issue a statement. Separately, State Department Deputy Spokesperson Robert Palladino expressed strong support for India and asked Pakistan to punish anyone responsible for the February 14 attack. The suicide attack has led to escalation of tension between India and Pakistan. Now let's have the top stories of today's newspaper headlines. The Sangai Express caught free stocks on V1 on bail. 16 in hand for two Congress tickets. Chief Minister promises cops branded uniform. Naga Cultural Fest to be held at U.S. No breakthrough yet in teachers' sphere. The People's Chronicle, People's Alliance Manipur. Amit Saha's CAB stand insult to Manipur, Northeast. Chief Minister to cops, don't grudge when posted in remote areas. Health Minister opens three units at Churachanpur Hospital. Court grants bail to arrested MSAD advisor V1. The Morning Bell. Textile Minister launches Sangaipat Irispan Silk Mill. Chief Judicial Magistrate rejects plea for V1 remand, releases him on bail. Illegal immigrants could not be detained again, observes Supreme Court. 40 lakh illegal immigrants in Assam. Tribunals detected, 52,000, only 166 of them deported. How do you expect people to have confidence in you? Supreme Court to governments. Imphal Free Press, Chief Judicial Magistrate Imphal is sets free Manipur Students Association Delhi advisor Vivon Toksom on bail. Tamanglong District Hospital suffering from lack of specialist shortage of water. Police personnel should be able to make the people feel secure wherever they are, says Bire. Manipur Mail, no political interference in police work, says Chief Minister. Amit Saha's statement in insult to people, says People's Alliance Manipur. Manipur Students Association Delhi advisor granted bail. Before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top stories once again. Seventh session of Manipur Assembly begins with Governor's Address. High School Living Certificate Examination begins. 37,323 students appear. Desa Malijis mass copy at Thanga High School. And Myanmar National Health with Brown Sugar Watch Rupees 3.63 Crore. Well, that's all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.